morning. Today I'd like to share with you a little bit about budgeting our time. When we hear the word budget, we typically think in terms of finances, like allocating X amount of money for food, for clothing, for gas and electric, for savings, for tithing, etc. But what about budgeting when it comes to our time? You know, how often do we take inventory of our available time and make sure to budget appropriately? You know, we spend so much time at work. We spend so much time watching um, TV shows and television. We spend so much time on our hobbies. But are we allocating enough time for what's important? Uh, are we allocating enough time for our families, our spouses, our children? Are we allocating enough time for God? We see in scripture that Jesus set aside time in his, the busyness of his life. He's made sure to set aside time to spend alone with God the Father. We see that uh, in Matthew 14, 23. Uh, it says that, And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. And now when evening came, he was alone there. And another time, in Mark 1.35, it says, Now in the morning, having risen a long while before daylight, he went out and departed to a solitary place. And there he prayed. And this one, actually, I'm going to read a little bit more into that passage. Right after that, verse 35 and verse 36, it says, And Simon and those who were with him searched for him. When they found him, they said to him, Everyone is looking for you. But he said to them, let us go into the next towns, that I may preach there also, because for this purpose I have come forth. And so we see that Jesus was spending time with God, and God was giving him direction as what to take. You know, um, he was in one city doing miraculous signs and wonders, but then he went aside and talked with just God the Father, and he was able to learn that his next mission wasn't to stay where he was, but rather to go onwards to other towns to preach the good news there. And so we see that um, when we spend time with God, we finally pause to listen, and we give him the chance to speak to us. And in those moments, he can direct us. So in finances, we give our best, our first 10% to God. What might that look like for us, for the time that we give to Him? I'm not saying that we have to make sure that 10% of our time each day has to be with God, but I think it is important to check how much time we set aside to consciously spend with Him. We might be surprised at how little we leave for Christ each day. And I know that's speaking to myself as well. And so our my challenge, both to you and to myself, is to really take a look at how much time setting aside to spend alone with Christ and see if we feel like we're giving Him our best. So that's my challenge for you today. I hope you have a blessed day and that God continues to speak to you. Have a great day.